Okay, so this is our last unit we're going to do together uh, on poetry. And I thought I'd take one that has to do with um, our lack of motivation in the last uh, several weeks of school. Um, there's a term for this, it's actually called senioritis. Think about it, in less than three weeks, some of you are going to be done with high school forever. Senioritis is an actual thing. It's a supposed affliction of students in their final year of high school or college characterized by a decline in motivation or performance. Um, I tried not to let my grades suffer from my senioritis. It's actually a thing. So why do we read poetry? I want you to consider this Robin Williams uh, video from Dead Poets Society. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, Think about this and why should we read poetry? We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry beauty, romance, love. These are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O me, O life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, O me, O life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? So, thinking about this, what are you going to contribute? What's your verse going to be? We're only here for three more weeks. Um, how are you going to live those last three weeks of your senior high school year? So I want to know if you think that a computer can write poetry. Poetry is very emotional, very um, deals with the human experience. But I want you to try this at the end of this video and see if you think a computer has the capability of writing poetry. Now our first poem that we're going to read is by Dylan Thomas. Um, it's called Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Um, if you look at the page with, um, the, first, with the poem on it, um, just a little bit of background about Dylan Thomas. Um, he was born in 1914 uh, he left school at age 16 to become a writer. And a lot of this poem has to do with um, how he uh, was addressing it to his father. His father was um, failing in health and he was, uh, he was, he was dying. Um, but he was also struggling with mental illness and he died a year after this poem was born. Um, this poem is uh, in a villain vowel, which is a 19-line poetic form consisting of five tercets followed by a quatrain. Um, and I want you to really think about this poem and how it relates to your life. Thinking about the title, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, Rage, Rage Against the Dying of the Light. Here's the poem read by someone and it, it's really an interesting take on this. I want I wanted to share this with you. I'm not. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage 
against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end know dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Okay, so there's uh, four questions that I want you to do. Um, the fourth one isn't listed here, but I want you to do um, the four questions that are on the back of your page. Um, paraphrasing is when you put the word or put the poem into your own words. What does this poem mean to you? What does it mean to not go gentle into that good night? And what two lines does Thomas keep repeating? Put them down. Uh, put these two lines into your own words. And what does the title mean? And then the, yeah, okay. Um, and then I've, I have another assignment for you to do. I want you to um, find a song that kind of relates to this poem to you. Um, this is one that I think really relates to the song. It's 21 Pilots Truce. I'll let you listen to it here. So your assignment is going to be to find a song that you feel relates to the poem. Compare and contrast the lyrics of this song to the lines in the poem. Try to find three things that you can compare to. Okay. 